staff in facilities which provide dementia care, you manage the effects of dementia on a daily basis. Cherie explains what she finds challenging. Meeting and catering for each individual's needs because they're, they're all so different. Um, also, you've got to deal with people that can change mood and temperament at the wink of an eye, which can be quite difficult. Another source of stress for Eula's care staff is trying to respond appropriately when a resident upsets you. You want to react um, differently to what you often can react. You've got to quite often keep it under your hat um, until you're out of the room. You can't just go off in a patient's room or you shouldn't be doing that, swearing, whatever. You've really got to be able to use a lot of self-control um, and quite often you've got to just ignore a patient's comments. This sort of stress causes physical and emotional warning signs and it is important that you recognise the signs that you have when you are stressed. Pain across the shoulders, indigestion, headaches, more colds or flu. Emotional warning signs of stress may include poor concentration, problems making decisions, crying more often, being irritable and being self-critical. Remember, these signs are warning you to slow down and take care of yourself. At work, other staff can help you at times when you are struggling and feeling stressed or upset by an incident that you have just been dealing with. Meal breaks and coffee breaks are also important stress relievers. Time out to laugh, chat and get away from the demands of work can go a long way to helping you manage the stress of the day. There's definitely days where you sort of think, oh, I wish I could just go home and, you know, you might have a patient that's normally very pleasant to you turn around and accuse you of something you haven't done or um, something like that. We have a walk-away policy um, in place where I work and we're able to walk away from the patient. Someone else must take over and you're given the opportunity to go away and have a coffee. No, 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 I don't want it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want that. I don't want that. Go away. Go away. Your choice for your choice. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Education also reduces stress by equipping you to successfully deal with situations at work. You have education resources available to you and also experienced staff who can share their knowledge and experience with you and discuss how to solve a particular situation that you have found difficult. Remember, to reduce stress at work, you need to accept support from other members of your care team. Take a break, walk away when you need to, and make the most of education opportunities. In order to survive the long journey through dementia, carers need to learn to care for themselves just as you do in your role. One of the hardest lessons for carers is learning to put themselves first. They usually think the person with dementia is the one with the greatest need, but in fact, if carers don't look after themselves, they're not going to be able to look after the person with dementia. They need to accept support. They need to ha learn how to recognise their own stress signals, whatever they are, and to take some action to relieve the stress. They need reassurance, that they're doing the right thing. They may need some respite from caring. They certainly need other people who can understand them. There are a number of strategies that carers can use to reduce their stress. I try and take care of myself and I think it's important that I try and keep myself interesting really. I think not just for myself but for my friends and particularly for my boys. I don't want to be seen as a stodgy old mother that's all I rave and rant on is about Alzheimer's and, and caring for their father. Uh, so I find that it's important that I surround myself with interesting, stimulating people, uh, positive people and people that can make me laugh. Because I can go a week and perhaps not even smile, never mind laugh. So I like to go out and meet a friend, go to a restaurant and or else have somebody at home, have a wine, have a pate and just enjoy people and just this is for me um, looking after me um, I also enjoy burning candles and, and um, things like that I enjoy a book um, all sorts of simple things that, that I try and do for myself To assist your learning let's summarise the main points It is important to recognise your warning signs of stress 
Support from other members of your care team reduces stress at work. It is important to be aware of the impact of dementia care on family carers. That concludes this video. Enjoy your learning. Thank you.